Welcome to lesson 3 of CAD Master Software. Today we're going to start off by going through materials. So firstly we're going to go to drawing properties which is the button over here. Then we're going to go to materials. So first thing you can do you can specify the dark, what we call a data source. Then you can specify what type of group it is within there. You can just use all groups if you like. If I chose say 16 mil panel only 16 mil panels will show up. If I choose all then everything will show up. Um, then you can choose the material that you want from in there. So I'm just using 16.5. Let's use 16.5 carcass. And this is the edging you want to use with it. Um, with your doors, you can specify, we've got this button here, all as floor. Or I can untick that and go and give me a floor, my wall, my tall doors. Um, again, same thing. You can choose the data source. So I can go in here and go, oh, let's choose Laminex. Um, yep, I'll choose Laminex. I can then choose which type or group it is. It's 18 mil color natural. Then I'm going to choose that one right there. And then which edging do I want with it? Well I can choose new graphite. If you go find it it'll be in there somewhere. I'm just going to choose that for the sake of it here. Um, then you can go choose my overheads my tools or I can tick the box and copy them all across and they are the same. Same as my panels. Panels is door and all is floor panel or I can specify my panels individually as well. So you kept them all the same as that, and like I say, that's the same as door. So my doors and panels all, all match now. Uh, my bench top, again, what brand do you want it to be, or what uh, data source do you want it to be? Which style is it? Uh, it's a group, so it's going to be an 80 mil. It's going to be creme brulee. Lovely. Uh, my kicker, again, as panel, other. Um, as carcass, as panel. So obviously as carcass, as panel, or other. You can specify whatever it is yourself I want to use. CAD Master default materials in here. I want to use, uh, just use everything for here and let's choose ash white for this one. Okay, then you hit apply and that's good to go. You're good to go. That's how 99% of your jobs are going to go. One thing I need to show you is under my setup, material data sources. This is where you can specify what data sources you've got. So you can go to Store Master. You can download Store Master files from here. Once you've done that, you can come in here and select which data source you want and you can choose it in here. Once you've specified what your data source is, you can go back to your materials and that will now be a data source available for use for whatever their materials are. If you want to do a little bit more advanced, there's an advanced materials button, which actually takes you to materials advanced on the screen over here. So what this lets you do here is how do I select my carcass? Do I want carcass all the same? Yes, I do. I want carcass for each part. So I can specify here each part top bottom so if I want all my backs to be uh, you know something 9 mil ply there you go that's 9 mil raw MDF now so you can do 6 mil sorry 6 mil MDF um, you can specify your back is different from every other part if you like so that makes it quick and easy or I can go by type so I've got all my floor cupboards I'm going to specify each for, so my floor my wall my tall cupboards can all have different materials for each section of the carcass normally most people would have same for all. It's much more efficient, especially on CNC machinery. Um, you can also go carcass as panel and keep everything exactly the same. So you set panel and your, um, your panels match your doors. Uh, your doors will match your floor wall and tall all match the same. So you can actually tick the box and set everything once and it's all done. When you come in here, you've got the same breakdown. So you've got your data source, your group, your, your material. So you can break it down quite happily through here. Edging, uh, internal edging for corner cupboards. When you get to edging, now this looks a bit confusing, it's not floor wall and tall. Um, let's go my end left. So this is literally this section here is saying I want to look at the end left of my carcass. This bit here is saying um, I'm looking at these are my one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Only number four is edged, which is this one here. So I click on number four. So left number four. This is the material I want to use for it. So I choose three millimeter edging. Only this one here says so this is three millimeter edging. These ones are all on ones. My left has something been changed on it. So that's all he's, all he's specifying is I want to change the material for that section. It's not going to follow everything else. I want something slightly different. Um, doors. If I go to doors, again, all is floor, and I can only set it once, or I can untick that and specify as we could do before floor, wall, and tall, and specify what material I want it to be. So if I'm going to go to silk doors and something there there we go and I mean they're all going to be the same or I can go just to here specify the floor one and now they're all the ghost gum so there you go they're all followed if you tick the box 
Uh, same as edging. Door edging is always all on or all off. Depends on how you set it in the materials uh, manager. Uh, either it's edged or it's not. You can't, can't specify them individually. Uh, and this is the edging I want to specify for each section. You can specify the edging separately. So if I want to do something slightly different, I ha can have one. Uh, yeah, I can have them differently. Depends on which one of these I choose. Um, there's more options as well. You can specify how you want to see reflections, panels, panel material. Same as I uh, say, these are all the same sort of same thing. Is it matching door? What edging do I want? Same as bench tops. What material do I want? Um, your draw banks. What material do I want in my draw banks? I'm going to say same as floor door is what the draw front is going to be made out of, or I can specify what I want the door draw material to look like. This is the carcass parts. Um, so I can get carcass panel other what I want to do for my front and back, my left and right, my base, my edging, uh, so metal sided, metal premiums, um, extra parts if you've got spaces, how do you want it edged, um, if you want a kickboard in here again how do you want your kickboard made out of, you can actually specify one of the materials we quite often do especially for things like kickboards for your sleepers for specifically, um, if I go to all groups and you specify down the end here you go carcass white no machine. You can specify which I'm going to show you in the machine manager in a moment. You can specify a non-machining material, so it will put it onto your report, but won't send it out to your CNC for cutting if you're going to use offcuts and things, which a lot of people do for sleepers. Uh, bulkheads. We don't want your bulkhead to look like what material you want it to look like. Um, there's some general options. You don't generally set any of those in your normal settings. Set and forget. The last one is manager. When you get, and yes, sorry, I had to rush through that very quickly. There's not a lot you set in these. Quite often, you, it's, just, it's something a little bit advanced, but generally you set it once and it's all done. Um, manager in here. So you've got um, manage button here. You can go specify the data source you want to use, and you hit the manage button. Now, what this lets you do is I can go through, again, the same thing I'm doing before. So I go to, go to a panel. I choose a group. I'm just going to choose, um, I just unsorted. It brings up everything. So here's my carcass white we're playing with, this one here. So it tells me in here, this is what the um, oh, the brand, it's whiteboard, it's 16.5, it's white. This is the color I've specified that I want to look like. Um, this is li literally just a list of images. Um, so I can make it look like anything I, I like in here. Uh, you can download and add your own ones in here as well. Options, what does it look like? Is it transparent? No. Does it have edging? Yes, it does. This is where you can specify in door material if it's edged or not. That's the button there. CNC. Do you want to go to a CNC or not? If you don't want to be machinable, untick the CNC box. It won't send it to your CNC. That's easy enough. Optimize. If you have a panel saw, you'll go out to uh, an optimizer, uh, panel estimator, max cut, any of those optimizers we use. If you want to go to an optimizer, you need to say, I want it to be optimized. Again, some materials you go to a CNC, some you only go to an optimizer. You can select between here, have both on, both off, one or one or other on or off as well. Uh, if you've got a part number, um, is the material grained? So is it grained? Yes, it is. Can it rotate? Um, which direction should the material be grained in? Um, and you've got some pricing in here, which we'll play with another day. So if you're happy with that, hit the save button and it will save that. You need to hit save before you hit apply. Um, if you're happy with this, you can also go in here and now change this. If I was to go this one and call it um, test 111, I can go save as. It's going to ask me what I want to save it as. So it's now called. That's the that's name I'm actually saving it as. So yes, I want to save that. So you can go and grab any existing material. You can change it and go, OK, test 111. I actually want to be um, steel blue. Save. Yes, I want to save that material. So I've now created a new material, and that's what it's called. Um, if you go into, actually let's go back into it very quickly, the same thing with all these, bench top, countertop, doors, um, the only difference with doors, you can actually specify a style once you've selected a door. So you can go into here and go, okay, I want this to be 18mm uh, laminate door, it's going to be that one there. So it shows me this aloe vera, shows me the colour of aloe vera. It's um, go through CNC, it's got edging on it, and it's a slab that's edge banded at the moment. So slab edge banded is generally the most common one we use these days because you can specify it here, but then you can go into Toolmaster LT and specify the materials from in there. Now, that's how you can edit and modify materials. It's relatively simple from here. So now you can go specify whatever material you like. You can go into 3D and you can see what you've changed. 
The other thing you can do with materials is you can change them as I've done here at cabinet level. So you can go into any cabinet, I'll click on this cabinet here and go okay that's what my cabinet looks like. Go to my doors and say I want my doors to be different. I'm going to go something completely absurd. Uh, pewter, sounds good. Uh, how about something darker? Got anything darker in there? There we go, Moroccan clay, beautiful. Now what I've said is I want this this material or this cabinet to be different from everything else, from the, all my other properties. So the drawing properties, you set them first, then it goes and sets it at cabinet level. So that cabinet there is different from every other cupboard on the on the drawing. If I go change the drawing properties or something different, this won't change because I've said I want this cupboard to be different, which is deliberate. So it lets you change whatever you like in that regard. So that's nice and easy to change materials and do what you want. So change them at drawing properties or change them at cabinet level. The other thing I need to show you, which is quite important, is if we go to view, library catalog manager. Now, as I've said previously, drawing properties only changes it from this drawing onwards. So anything I change in here is from this drawing onwards. Change my materials. When I start up, it's going to go back to whatever my default settings are. Now, if we go to view library catalog manager, if you've got this, if you've got a designer 3D or CL, you won't have this. So it's only pro and premium have this option. So library catalog manager, this is all of my cabinetry in here. If I go to catalog properties, this looks exactly the same as drawing properties, apart from this is your defaults. Anything you change in here will stay permanently. So this is again, materials, exactly what we've just gone through. You've got your clients, you've got your job defaults, any of these things, these are permanent. So you can see it's got a salmon background. Anything you change in here will stay permanently. So don't change anything you don't want changed permanently. So that's got your catalog properties. Um, the other thing in here you've got is these are all my cabinet cabinets in here. I can now click on this as a floor two door. I can just right click and go duplicate. And I can cause a floor two door. Test one 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 tester. There you go. And I can't type today. Uh, this should be alphanumeric only. So don't put any special characters in the names. So what am I alphanumeric? Letters and numbers. No yeah, question marks and backslashes and all those sorts of things. Just letters and numbers. Uh, okay, so I can go into test 111. Um, I can do whatever. Again, same in the background, so it's going to be doing something. Go into my cabinet. I can say this one's going to be 700. Um, it's got two doors, but they're always independently hung on the left, for example. There we go. You can go and change any of your settings in here you want. I can change the number of doors. I can change the options. So I want one shelf. I'm going to have two shelves and I'm going to be set back 50 mil. Uh, I can do anything I want in this and that's how you go and duplicate and make all of your own cabinetry in here. A very quick um, option I'm going to show you very quickly. Uh, if I go rename this uh, F2900 uh, for example, so a lot of people call the floor 2 door 900. If the width of the cabinet matches the size on the end of it, Remind me later, I'll show you what that does. That's a, that's a secret we've got going right now. Okay, so you can duplicate anything you want in this. You can make your own, so this is how you make your own cabinet. Start with something and modify it any way you want. Um, the other thing you got in here is you right click, you got insert unused basons, and there should be none. If we add new cabinets to the library, that's how you get them into your library. You've got to come into Library Catalog Manager, insert unused basons, and it'll bring in any new cabinets that haven't been added to your catalog yet. So this is your library that sits in front of our library essentially. So you can come in here and duplicate any cabinet you want. If you want to make more doors, you can also turn things off and on. If there's cabinets in here you don't like, you can get rid of them. Um, so I can actually click on click on this cabinet here and just go clear or duplicate or just turn it off. If I if I don't want it in my library but I don't want to lose it, just turn it off. That's what you need to do. So it's still here. You can turn it back on whenever you want, but it hasn't been lost, but it won't be in your selection anymore. Um, so this is say the library catalog manager. Click up here, you can also delete. I find it easiest using everything with a right click menu. So right click on that one. Um, if you want to rename something, um, you click on it and you click on it again. So left click twice and it lets you do it. So don't do it too fast. You double click, left click, it opens it up. If you left click, left click, left click, then it lets you edit the cabinet name. So you click once, click again, then you can go edit it, whatever you want. So that's how you do that one. Um, again, catalog properties, set all your default settings in there. Then you go modify in here. Once you've done save and exit. Now, what you need to do from here is you'll possibly find it may not be there yet, or is it there? 
it is there okay now this one won't have an image so the other cupboards have images if you now go to and it'll put an error down there saying the image is missing that's what the error down the bottom right hand corner is that orange exclamation mark options so file options images and you can go generate missing images and you can see it's scrolling across the bottom it's fairly quick to do this if you generate all images it's actually fairly slow but if you do this for each one missing okay so if we now go back to floor standard f2111 we've now got an image of that cabinet we just created uh, and then we can also go to uh, this one here f2900 now this one here the secret I was telling you about another option very quickly that's cabinet 13 so it's cabinet 13 if you right click on your desktop go to options it pops up with this screen here and you can change this label display instead of ID you can, if you change this to user defined it will now tell us that's an f2900 now if you've got all your cabinets there this can be a bit unruly with all the big names but the number is a secret because if I now stretch it changes the size it knows it's the size of the cabinet if the number of matches there you go so there's a quick cheat code for everybody so you can very quickly see what the size of that cabinet is where a floor two door obviously won't do that so hopefully that's been informative for you today thank you very much for watching